So now that we know what the degree of a vertex is, which we learned in the last video, we are ready to prove our first theorem in graph theory. So what we're going to end up proving today is that the sum of the degrees is twice the number of edges, and that's true in any graph. So let's take a look at first an example. First, let's think about the sum of the degrees in this graph. We can easily determine the degrees. So now the sum of the degrees is 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2, which is 12. Next, we're interested in the number of edges in this graph and we can just count out the number of edges. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this particular graph has 6 edges. So our example works. We can see that the number of edges times 2 would give us exactly the sum of the degrees. So now let's write down our theorem. In any graph G, the sum of the degrees of the vertices over all of the vertices in the vertex set is equal to 2 times the number of edges. So now let's start the proof of this theorem. Let E be any edge in the graph. Then E has two ends. Let's call them U and W. So E is equal to UW. When we sum the degrees of the vertices, edge E gets counted twice, once in the degree of U term and once in the degree of W term. Similarly, every edge gets counted twice, because what we just did was to take any edge and show that it gets counted twice. What this means is that in our sum of the degrees, we are actually summing up every single edge exactly twice. So that concludes our proof. In mathematics, when we are finished with a proof, we write a little square at the bottom, which denotes the end of the proof. It can also be written as QED. Next, I want to show you a simple corollary to this theorem. In any graph, there are an even number of odd degree vertices. Let's think about the proof. Let G equal VE be a graph. Suppose the vertex set is V1 through VN, the set of those vertices. The previous theorem implies that the sum of the degrees of the vertices is equal to twice the number of edges. Now it may sound like I'm restating the obvious, but there's a key point here. The right-hand side of this equation is even. What that means is that the left-hand side must also be even. So there cannot be an odd number of odd degrees. The reason why is because if there was an odd number of odd degrees, then this sum would come out odd, and that would be a contradiction. So then we know that in any graph, the number of odd degree vertices must be an even number. If you think about a really easy application of this corollary, Let's suppose somebody asks you for this. Find a graph with 10 degree 2 vertices and 1 degree 3 vertex. You would immediately say, well, if I was to have only 1 degree 3 vertex and no other odd degree vertices, then I would have an odd number of vertices of odd degree, and that is impossible. So this little fact can actually turn out to be quite useful. See you next time.